The military junta that seized power in Niger has said it will prosecute ousted President Mohamed Bazoum for high treason. Spokesperson Colonel Amadou Abdraman said late on Sunday that that was over Bazoum's exchanges with foreign heads of state and international organizations. The July 26th coup saw Bazoum imprisoned and the elected government dissolved. That's drawn condemnation from global powers. West African regional bloc ECOWAS has activated a standby military force that could intervene to reinstate Bazoum. But on the streets of the capital Niamey on Monday, some residents, like Musa, supported what they see as a move towards justice. If there was high treason, he's the one who committed the biggest betrayal. You really can't spare him. What's at stake is not only the future of a country of 26 million people and its deposed leader. Niger is a major uranium producer and a Western ally in the fight against local affiliates of Al-Qaeda and Islamic State that have killed thousands and displaced millions in the wider region. Western powers fear that West and Central Africa's seventh coup in three years could also open the door to further Russian influence. Niger's junta has signalled a potential willingness to find a diplomatic solution to the standoff. ECOWAS is expected to push for more talks and has said it wants to send a committee to meet the junta in Niger's capital. The African Union, the EU, the United States and the UN have all said they are worried about the conditions in which Bazoum and his family are being held. Bazoum's political party has said they have no access to running water, fresh food or doctors. Bazoum told Human Rights Watch that his son needs to see a doctor because of a serious heart condition. However, the junta said on Sunday that Bazoum was regularly seeing a doctor. The last visit was on August 12th, it said, adding that the doctor raised no concerns about the health of Bazoum or members of his family.